Look at that, we're back on that. Boom. 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 Anyways, what's up, Ant City, and welcome back to another episode of Delta Rune. So, before we get started on this episode, though, I want to just talk about a few things that ha from the last chapter. So, one thing I found out, the first thing, is I actually didn't end up getting the true pacifist route for chapter one. Because, if y'all remember, I forgot to warn one enemy about Susie's attacks early on. And because of that, that cost me getting the whole true pacifist ending. I'm not going to go back and play it again, though, because there really weren't that many differences. I already, like, looked into it. Like, I already know what happens. So there weren't that really any major differences. Like, the ending doesn't change at all. Like, if it was something like Undertale, where the ending's, like, completely different, if you get a true pacifist, I might have gone back and played it. But it's just, like, a few minor differences. So, if you want to see that, then I would just say go look it up. Or, you know, the game is free, so just play it for yourself and just be careful to warn Susie. But, I personally am not going to go back and play Chapter 1. Uh, like, on, I'm not going to do videos on it, at least, if I do go back and play it. But, I'm probably not going to, at all. Uh, because, um, yeah, like, it's just some minor differences. So, it wasn't, like, a big enough deal to me to go back and replay the whole game again and record it again. So, we're just going to stick... To what we got and then jump into chapter two but and then another thing too is i've been looking into some theories for this game i'm not going to get too, too into detail but you know this is kind of going to kind of be some deep undertale stuff maybe even some spoilers so just skip ahead i'll tell y'all like I'll, I'll put a timestamp to when the video actually starting starting like we're getting into the chapter two um so the other thing that i looked into was the ost for delta room chapter one at least i haven't looked at chapter two's ost because i haven't played it yet there's actually a lot of Gaster's theme sprinkled throughout the whole OST. Like, even the very first song has Gaster's theme in it. It's sprinkled throughout the whole OST. So, to me, that that's just pretty interesting. Because Gaster's always been, like, this mysterious thing in Undertale. And we never knew what it was about. And there was even, like, new stuff in, like, the Switch version relating to Gaster. Like, th that was, like, a month before Deltarune came out. So, it seems like Gaster may play an important role in this game. Maybe when the full thing is out. So we'll just have to see, but it's just interesting to me that Gaster's theme is sprinkled in so much. So, yeah, there are some other theories, though. I'm not going to get too deep into it. That's all I wanted to talk about. Just, I didn't get true pacifist. And, um, yeah, but the ending stays the same. And, oh, another thing I learned, too, was after, like, looking into it some more and rewatching this the very final scene of Chapter 1, people were pointing out that that's not just Chris pulling out his soul. Like, at the very end, you know, when he, like, rips his soul out that's supposed to be symbolic of chris is taking us out of him because he doesn't want us to be controlling him so it's interesting but then he like pulls out a knife right after that so like on one hand i understand why like someone may not want to get controlled by someone else but at the same time like you, did you have to pull out the knife though like like yeah i understand not wanting to be controlled and all that but golly so he's definitely kind of got some malice to him but let's see what chapter two has in store for us so Without further ado, we're going to go ahead and jump straight in. So, right on the screen it says chapter 1 was completed. So let's go ahead and play chapter 2. What was that laugh? Hello? What is that laugh? Uh-uh. Wait a minute. Whoa. Okay, yeah, so... It's saying, so it's saying the bottom and top ones don't have completion files. Because, um, it says made on scene credits. Okay. So, this one's the only one that actually has a completion file. Because that's the only one I actually completed the game on. Oh, and that's the door that uh, Ralsei took us to. Yeah. Okay. So, let's start. Chris. Chris, honey. Are you awake? Wait. Is that a... 
A knife? No! There's no way he killed Torio. I don't believe it. Chris, did you eat all this pie? Oh my god. <laughs> Is that what he had the knife for? Nah, there's no way it was just for the pie. <laughs> like he was looking evil, evil. There's no way he just got the knife for the pie. He probably also ate all the pie, but yeah. <laughs> Face palm, oh my god. It is your knife in this empty tin, is it not? Oh, Chris. Am I going to have to lock the oven again? Lock the oven? Again? <laughs> so this happens normally? I feel like that, yeah, there's no way he just was eating the pie with that knife. Because that was kind of crazy. Like, you like pie that much? <laughs> okay. Well, hurry. Out of bed. It is time for school. Also, notice our soul is out of the cage now. So I feel like that thing with Chris only happens at night, is what it's seeming like. Because remember, um, if y'all saw at the end of the first chapter, we saw that credits theme, and the very last line was like, I'm with you at night, or something like that. I'm with you in the dark. Makes me feel like something's like, and like there's something going on with Chris at night. That's what I'm thinking. Let's see this. It's a birdcage. When the door is closed, there's no escape. Excuse me? Um, so then who opened the door? <laughs> Did you open it back up for us? Interesting. Close your... I don't think anything here is going to be different. Caddy and caddy can be seen. Oh, there's something new. Cat petters are... Oh, no, it's not. I think that was the same. <laughs> there's a folder called Epic Game Stuff. It's a poorly drawn design for a game. Seems the last boss is a creature with giant rainbow. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's Undertale. Doesn't seem like this game ever saw the light of day. Oh, my gosh. It's five dollars in your brother's drawer. I'm not about to take my brother's money. <laughs> I, like I don't know what that's gonna do. So I guess there is some new stuff. It's a cactus. Not much to say about it. What about this? It's what they call you. <laughs> How to draw dragons at the bottom of the drawer. The purple character on the cover is dressed immodestly. Your brother will never return this book. <laughs> That door is locked. So is this my brother's room? I would assume. Or no, actually this is... Yeah, we shared a room. On, yeah. <laughs> there's no time to read books, just generally. Okay. I wonder if there's anything new if we flush the toilet now. I'm gonna do it. Flush it three times. Wow, there's nothing this time. Okay. It's not it's not yet time to wash your hands. On the shower ledge is a small Oh yeah, we saw that. The shampoo. Alright, well, let's get out of here. There's a photo on the fridge. It's of you, your mother, and your brother. Okay, that's the same. There's some white first till. There's some cinnamony batter cake on the stovetop. Cookie cutters for gingerbread monsters and humans. Trash can. It's a trash can. Yeah, same thing. Vegetarian. Wait, what did it say? Oh, it's actually plugged in. It looks like it's plugged in, but it's dusty. What are we going to see on that TV? It's a book of hymns. Alright, I guess we just leave now, because it doesn't seem like there's too much different. What if I call my own phone? The phone is ringing, but you can't get it. You're already on the phone after all. Oh my gosh. Alright. Guess we're going to school now. Well, shall we go? Are we going to do the music again? Nope. Okay. What's good? Grace, there you are. You and Susie showed up before you. <laughs> hey, Chris. If I knew you were going to be late. I wouldn't have showed up on time. Susie, please don't kick your desk. Treat school property like you treat people. Okay. Next time I'll aim for the vitals. <laughs> the laugh. <laughs> but that's not what I... In any case, good morning, class. We have a lot to go over today. First, we're starting the reading from page 142. Any, any volunteers? Um, I, I guess I can read the- <gasps> Ah, trouble yourself not, Noel. I will valiantly take this blow of humiliation. 
Uh, um, that's okay, I can... Ahem! <coughs> Page 142. It was the best of times. It was the worst of times. Times are pretty good. Times are pretty bad. Mediocre times. Iffy times. So-so times. Listening to this, your eyes began to close automatically. This man was standing on his desk. Have a nice day, everyone. And please remember your group projects. I'm still here. Oh, um, Chris, are you okay? You were, um, s sleeping all class. Don't worry, I'm not mad, just concerned. Usually you only sleep through the start. Good luck and rest well tonight, okay? Alright, yes, we dip it. Looks like motivational quotes. Maybe yeah, saw that. Okay. Chris, this whole partner thing, you didn't lose sleep over it, did you? Lost sleep from being <laughs> Susie's partner. Actually, my sleep quality increased. Huh? Chris, that's up good, I think. So maybe you were just staying up late talking to Asriel online again? Oh, uh, wait, you can't do that, right? I I hope the internet, get, internet gets fixed soon. I don't want to revert into my primal form. I bet. Check the time. Seems to not be time for class. Oh, there's Susie. Well, look who it is, the school zombie. You were sleeping like a corpse all class. <laughs> What's the matter? Had trouble going Betty by last night? I mean, yeah, we did kind of wake up in the middle of the night. <laughs> Me too, Chris. Like I could sleep after yesterday. Just waiting for today felt like years. <laughs> did, did all that stuff really happen? Lancer, Rossi, everyone? Are they still... Look... You've been wondering the same thing, right? Come on already! Guess we're going. Alright, Chris. This is it. Moment of truth. Everything we've been waiting for is just behind this. If we, uh, open this and there's nothing inside, will, uh, we still be... Screw it! Let's just open it already! Oh, uh, Susie? Yeah? <laughs> My gosh. No world, hey. What the hell are you doing here? Uh, sorry to bother you, but, uh, I... Well, I just... Burnley and I were going to the library to do some research on our group projects, and if it's okay, um, would you want to come too? Oh, Chris, you can come too, I mean. Uh, I mean, we're like, uh, busy with, uh, Chris, help me out here. What do we say? Hang out. <laughs> Crime? No, I'm not. I guess we have to tell her this. You know, just chilling out alone in the closet. Just two friends chilling out in the closet like normal. Touching brooms and stuff. Oh, uh, well, that just sounds, uh... Have fun, you two. I'll be at the library. Chris, if you could bring your by later, it would mean a lot to me. Um, actually, wait. Wait a second. Susie, I, um, I have something for you. Huh? Oh, easy, bye. <laughs> Susie's face. It's a lunchbox. Full of chalk. <laughs> she had chalk the whole time. <laughs> it didn't give it to Alfred. <laughs> what the hell, Chris? <laughs> Here, you hold on to this. You got the chalk. Wait, Chris, what the hell was that? Why would Noel ask me to do homework with her? Death wish much? Does she want to fail? Wait a second. Wait a second. Chris, did you notice how nervous she was? And, like, blushing and stuff? Chris, you don't think she, um, she's onto our secret identities? You know, this dark world stuff? And we gotta keep this under wraps, Chris. This is our thing, you know? Anyway, enough waiting already, right? Let's go! <laughs> they just jump in. You know, they should just really bring a flashlight in here. Yeah, now we're transforming. And then they just spin. <laughs> the superhero landing. Oh, I guess.
get to move. Okay, I was like, what are we waiting for? No, I get to move now. But yeah, I wonder what, like, they should just bring a flashlight into the closet and see what's going on. Oh yeah, look, we're back. Here we are. Chris, Susie. It's been ever so long. Yeah, yeah, it's been what, a day? Oh, that is short, sure, isn't it? It's just that I've never had friends before. So I've never waited so long to see them again either. Fine, guess we'll try not to let you die of loneliness. I bet Lancer wants to see us too, right? <laughs> oh, she spun around. Hey, wait a sec. Where is Lancer? <laughs> Where's everybody? Uh, uh, Worry not, Susie. You'll see them in a moment. This way here, alright? Okay, I'm, if you couldn't tell, I'm still trying to figure out my Rossi voice. <laughs> Hey, this better not be some kind of prank or something. Chris, I have something to ask you. I need you to return to the light world. And go to the old classroom to get to the east of the closet doors. Inside, gather everything on the ground. And bring it back here, could you? Wait, he knows about the classroom? Okay, so I guess to exit we have to... So, Ross, you're not going to put your hat back on? Why, did I look cuter before? Uh, no, I just mean... You... you think I look cuter now? It was just nicer seeing less of you. You're making me blush. Gosh. So I guess we just gotta go to the castle. First saw yesterday. You are filled with the power of immediate nostalgia. Oh, look at that. We can save in multiple files now. Interesting. Well, we'll just stick to the second one. That's what we usually do. Oh no, we just had to pick one to save in. Okay. Oh no, we can we can save in multiple files. Okay, that's interesting. I don't think we could do that before. Where are you going? Trying to have cake without me? Oh, I guess we have to go back this way? Wait, what, what's this way? Oh yeah, this is where we slid down the first time we landed here. So let's go this way, maybe? What's over here? Oh, it's the Rossi puppet. No one's looking. Hug the dummy. <laughs> Nothing wrong with a little extra fluffiness in your life. You're all hugged out. Okay. I guess we go this way. I don't really know where we're supposed to go. It seems to be locked. It may never open again. Yeah, Rossi really closed that door up quick. I guess we just gotta go back the way I came then. Okay. To go get all that stuff. Oh yeah, look. There's light. So we can now travel back and forth. So we gotta pick up all this stuff. Turned into a giant dusty ball. So is that all the like the people and stuff? What if I look through the glass real quick? For some strange reason, for just a brief moment, you thought you saw through your hand. There's something up with this glass. I like how I just have this on my head. The door is locked. I wonder what's through that door. Managed to cram everything into the closet, even the rug. Alright, I guess we gotta take this all. Can I just walk around with it? What if I just try to leave? What happened? Oh, wait a minute. And how is Chris doing? They're, they're great, Tori. One of my favorite students, a real star. See? They're still trying to keep the main character genderless. Oh, how wonderful. They have not been up to anything strange. Haha, <laughs> no, they've been... They're normal. <laughs> well, that is relieving. I've just been a little concerned lately. Just late and just lately? You take it easy too, Alphys. I'm always cheering you on, alright? Uh, the, 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 the thanks. Can't let my mom find how you're balancing a giant trash orb. Yes, we can't, we can't actually leave, but we could snoop in on the conversation. Okay. Wait, what if we reload it? Are they still there? Yeah, they're still here. Alright, let's go back to the closet now. Oh, it, it turns sparkly. <laughs> Hey, Chris, where... So where is every... One? That's gonna be everyone. Yep, I knew it. Guess who's back, clowns? Lancer! <laughs> oh my gosh. Hey, Chris, don't know what you did, but hell yeah. Everyone's here. I see, so I was kind... I think I was kind of right what, about what I said last chapter, about how all this stuff on the floor was these living things and all that. Uh, hey, 
I wait, I think I beat some of these guys. Beat up some of these guys. Are they not gonna like gang up on us now? Don't worry, Susie. Pop Pop got trapped in a hamster cage, making me Prince Kane. And with my new dad like powers, I declared you forgiven. Cool, well, I guess I won't beat anyone up here either. Yep, now all that's left is for everyone to enjoy the new home. Wait, new home? Where's your old home? All gone. Gone. Right, when Chris sealed the fountain, that dark world disappeared. And turned back into a normal classroom. So, where's Lancer gonna live now? Yeah, so it turned. So that dark world. Yeah, so that was the classroom. Interesting. So did someone put like a spell on the school or something? Hmm. Interesting. So where's Lancer gonna live now? Don't worry, Susie. We'll conquer Rossi's castle as our own. Chris, as you bring the Dark World denizens back here, the power of our fountain will transform this town more and more. From now on, the enemies we spare will be recruited to our town. So let's keep sparing enemies, okay? Anyhow, why don't we all have a look around? Hmm, I don't know. Rossi might be kind of... Is Rossi trying to build, like, an army here? I don't know. Because he wants us to spare people. To recruit them. That sounds like he's trying to build an army or something. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. Anyhow, why don't we all have a look around? We can head north towards the castle. I have a special surprise to show you there. <laughs> Not if I surprise myself first. Last one there is a fresh and fragrant egg. <laughs> Come on, Chris. You don't want to beat us? It's this dude. Oh, thou hast transplanted this, us to thine castle down. <laughs> and truly, a magnificent town of castles it ought. But oh, some, mm, something art lacking is it feeleth. Could it thou guys perhaps bring in an evil ruler or something? No. Lancer House has been now denounced me vice father for thence for for thence i do all the cooking and cleaning perhaps i should it seeketh the newest employer all right i like the music here hold on from the bakery lancer's in here already. <laughs> oh i am chef lancer try my delicious hand from cookies they're free for a price what's the price zero dollars let's take a cookie i now pronounce you cookie and wife Lancer cookies out of the storage. Oh yeah, let me check my items real quick now that we're here. Oh yeah, look, I still have all the stuff in here. Because I never used any of it. And we still have that shadow crystal. What if I look through it? You held the crystal up to your eye. But nothing happened. Okay, nothing happens this time. So... Oh, it said that that cookie got added to my storage. So I guess we have a... Like, just like with Undertale, there's a storage chest now. That's good. But yeah, we still have all of our items from the last time. So that's good. I still have all of this, like that glow shard, which I don't know if I really need to keep it, but I'm going to. Alright, let's talk to this dude. Well, well, welcome to Top Bakery. I'm this bakery smith, Malleus. I do not know what any of these strange tools are for. But using my skills, I can fuse items and create new ones. Oh, we can fuse items. Interesting. Brad, what is this technique you speak of? What can he fuse? Oh. Oh, we can, like, fuse armor? Oh, we can fuse burgers. It'll take two bikes to fit. Oh, this will give us more inventory space. Interesting. Increases drop money by five. This is cool. Two two ribbons. Twin ribbon. Spike band. Let's fuse these burgers, at least. Because it takes two bites and it'll just save us inventory space. So let's do that. Squeaky door. Alright, let's fuse some more. I only have one more dark burger left, I think, right? No, I should have more than one left, hold on. Oh no, I guess I only have one dark burger. Yeah, okay, well, let's try to fuse some more stuff. So yeah, we can fuse, like, armor together. But it only counts as one. We'll, we'll probably come back for this. Like, look, this, I can make... Oh, it's just showing us all the options. Like, this tension bow. Or ten, ten. Oh, that's the TP, yeah. So I have this amber card. I can make a silver card. Yeah, we'll come back for most of that. But yeah, interesting. Let's talk to Lancer again. Lancer cookies! Want one? Let's take one. You already took your cookie! Wait, I'm still regenerating from the last one. 
the regenerating. All right, wait, was there more in here that we can look at? No, it doesn't look like it. Okay. I just realized that that says Mama Amiibo back there. <laughs> like the pasta guy. What's this sign say? Mama Amiibo, welcome to Talk Bakery. A special chef spin baked goods at the top of their class. Seems like Hathi likes this place. I feel an aura of forgiveness. I wonder what this would have been like if you did the gen or the it's called the massacre route, well, not genocide in this game. Party dojo. Thanks to you, Commander, we've been liberated. I hereby declare today National Ham Sandwich Day of Independence. What? Is this guy seriously sucking up to you already, even though you hurt us? You could at least wait until later today. Look, it, I didn't even mean to hurt you, it was Susie. Bow wow, bow bow. I'm just a block. Alright, let's see this. Oh, welcome to Ant Town. They named it after me. Or so I heard it's called. Oh, so the, apparently this town's named after me.